everybody, it's Paul from Alexander Knife Sharpening and Laser Engraving. So a couple guys have been asking me, and I got in some comments too. Can you sharpen on a 1x30 to do corrections and then take it to a TS Prof? Absolutely, you can totally do that. And I don't care which kind of 1x30 you use. You, you guys know I'm very partial to the uh, what we call the Tulker over here. Um, but I also love the Harbor Freight styles. If you want to build your own and do that, that works totally fine too. If you only had, uh, you know, one of these, it's going to get you there for sure. Now, why do I love this? I love it because it's great for doing corrections. I can work down here. I can work up top. I can work in both directions very easily. I love sharpening fillet and boning knives and things up top of here on this one. Do I love the Harbor Freight ones too? I do, and I really appreciate that I have both style because this is great for doing serrated knives. And as you guys know, I have one set up for stropping down there. I like it for stropping. Um, but let's just get into, can we make it faster for doing and a knife and then finishing it on a TS Prof, something like that. And absolutely you can. Okay, so let's take a look. So we got a very dull knife here with some chips in it, little micro chips you can see. So this, this knife needs a good bit of work. Absolutely, it is very dull um, and it just, it needs work. So let's show what we could do. Now, um, the one thing some, I'm sure someone's gonna hit me with the next question will be, well, what about a Ken Onion, Paul? Can you do it with a Ken Onion? I don't wanna say you couldn't, but here's the, the downside. The difference with the Ken Onion is the Ken Onion is slack belt sharpening. So the difference here is we are sharpening up against the platen. So this is gonna give us more of a flat grind. The Ken Onion is, Sharp, is sharpening edge trailing and it's not against a platen works it's so we're getting a convex grind you know will it help you get out some of the defects yes but it might end up taking you longer to sharpen when you went to the ts prof because of that convex grind you're going to have to remove that convex to get to the apex again won't be the same situation where these where you're using a platen all right, so let's come in here and we'll do what we normally do. And that's almost corrected except for there's a little bit of a chip up here in the tip. I'm going to do a little tip work. All right. So I'm happy with what happened there with enough of getting that started on that one by 30. All right, so let's go to the TS Prof. Now, my one by 30 was set for 17 degrees. So if I'd already, probably should have had this set already, I didn't, but we'll just, uh, we'll just come in here and I'll set it up. Okay, and grab me, I think I'm going to go a 600. Let's go the 600. All right. And, oh, I should park my, let's get our knife in here.
Okay, so we're in there. Now we can set our angle. 12, that's way too low. 16, 17, spot on. I really love this angle cube from TS Prof. I'm going to lower this a tiny bit so you get a better view there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay, so that's uh, on 17. Now I'm just going to double check to gonna draw a little Sharpie on here just for my own sake, but we should be good. Yeah, that's spot on. All right. So someone was asking me about the strokes on the TS Prof, and it is best to to get a either a full stroke. Like uh, the one day I was doing kind of little tiny circles. You do want to use as much of the stone as you possibly can. Feels good. Okay. I'm going to grab my thousand. That's a four. Here's a thousand. Let's finish on the thousand. Another thing you can do every so often is just flip your stone around. Make sure you're wearing it at, at both ends. Let's see how that did. Okay, we still need to strap it. Grab a new piece of test media. Yeah, wicked sharp. No issues at all going from one by 30 to uh, TS Prof. Yeah, that is, that is just crazy. That's crazy sharp. Okay, and here's uh, one, one more test, uh, paper cut test. This is for my Mr. Conspiracy Theory the other day who was like, oh, well, the reason you're uh, cut well is you're holding the paper at a 50-degree angle in the one thing and then 20. I don't even know what he was talking about, but... Here, I'll show you my cut test. I won't even hold the paper. I'll just do a cut test, all right? How's that? Okay, do you now believe that this knife is sharp? Maybe that will help you. Uh, it has nothing to do with how I was holding the paper.